I purposely recording it because I'm afraid going alone. I am asked to get uh, some medication in the pharmacy and um, the pharmacy in this hospital happened to be in the basement and I have to go through all of this um, warehousey basement part of the hospital. It's creepy because right now it's like at 3.30 a.m. So, yeah, 3.30 a.m. is the time usually when all the ghosts and the spirits coming out, especially the hospital. Oh, there you go. I missed it. <laughs> Thank you. So I got I got my medication right now. So it's time for me to go back. Maybe some of you guys if you have ability to see the unseen or to see the, the things that Normal people cannot see. Just let me know. Because I felt like I'm. Uh, uh, here is not that bad though. It looks so creepy, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as the seventh floor or like, you know, up there. Like, where's the, the nursing unit are? Because most people died in there. And some of them, they didn't even realize they died. <laughs> Alright, I have to go back. Yeah. And m most scary, most scary uh, part in the movie usually like in the elevator right because uh, it's always there like uh, in a horror movie there's always in the elevator when they see like some ghost or spirit or even if you guys know who's this the name like the one in uh, california the, the bird just <clears throat> like got out of the elevator and then she was like found in uh, uh what do you call that the, the water container in the hotel and she's been there for two weeks and uh, there's a lot of controversy about her case some of them they said like um, she's like having a mental problem and then she killed herself there but it's just so odd I think she was like chased she was like run after by something I, I, in in my guess, actually, she used to do a lot of like a uh, dark stuff, which is like kind of voodoo stuff, or like she's dealing with some voodoo stuff. So someone sent like a demon to her to make her delusional. All right, I'm back.